Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I know it's the festive season. We are gearing up into the season of uh, festivities across religions and what a time of celebration it usually has been. But it all seems to get marred at some level, particularly with the toxic mix of pollution that we are forced to breathe, particularly in the national capital region. And of course, we celebrate it th through it all, but some of us are just worst affected with all, if not all. In fact, all are, and that's what studies really show. Now, the government has come forward and decided on certain protocols. The action plan, as it calls, every year there seems to be an action plan which completely fails. Let's just go through what's happening round. And remember, this is not just a celebration of festivities this particular season, but it's also the stubble burning in parts of northern India, a crucial indicator of season of worsening air quality in the national capital and surrounding regions. The Amabmi Party led Delhi government has released their winter action plan, consisting of 21 points to deal with the looming pollution. Well, it's not the first. Every year now, there seems to be an action plan. The government's plan includes artificial rain in November, bringing back the work-from-home option and the return of odd-even. The air quality will be monitored real-time using drones to find the root cause of worsening air quality according to, the, according to the government. The Delhi government is also preparing for artificial rain to improve the air quality index in the city from November 1st to November 15th, when Diwali and firecracker, firecrackers bring the poor quality to its edge. 17th point is work from home. Ko prosan. Ye bahut sare experts ki rai thi ki isko Delhi ke andar aur thoda incentivize kiya jaye aur unko byapak banaya jaye. To sarkari aur private dono jaghon par isko ham log prosahit karenge. 19th point is odd event ki tayari. Sarkar apne taraf se odd event ki tayari. जो है वो शुरू करेगी और इमरजेंसी पड़ती है जरूरत तो उसको भी दिल्ली के अंदर हम लागू करेंगे अगर जरूरत पड़ती है बीसवा है कृत्रिम वर्षा आर्टिफिशियल रेन का उसके लिए जैसा हमने आपको सूचित भी किया था केंद्रीय पर्यावरण मंत्री जी को हमने चिट्ठी लिखी है और अभी जवाब तो नहीं आया है लेकिन मैं दोबारा कोशिश करूँगा क्योंकि समय अब बीत रहा है जिससे कि एक इमरजेंसी सिचुएसन में क्योंकि बाकी तो सारा हम प्रयास कर रहे हैं लेकिन खास तौर से दिवाली और पराली ये दो घटनाएं जब एक साथ लगभग इस बार अनुमान लग रहा है कि एक नवंबर के आसपास पराली की घटनाएं भी बढ़ रही होंगी और दिवाली भी उसी समय आ रही है इस बार बारह दिन पहले है दिवाली तो उस पीरियड के लिए हम चाहते हैं कि कृत्रिम वर्षा के लिए तैयारी की जाए पॉल्यूशन को कम करने के लिए पिछले दस साल से क्या किया पहले इसकी ऑडिट रिपोर्ट केजरीवाल साहब के मंत्री दें आतिशी दें 1000 करोड़ रुपए के लगभग पॉल्यूशन सेस के नाम पर इनके पास पैसा है वो पिछले सालों में कितना किस मद में पॉल्यूशन के लिए खर्च किया उसकी एक ऑडिट रिपोर्ट जनता के सामने रखें कुछ खर्च नहीं किया उसमें सिर्फ एक ही खर्चा हुआ है केजरीवाल साहब की फोटो के साथ बड़े बड़े होर्डिंग और कुछ नहीं है दस साल में पॉल्यूशन को ठीक करने के लिए क्या परमानेंट सोल्यूशन इन्होंने दिल्ली की जनता को दिया वो बताएं सिर्फ ढकोसला है दिल्ली का चुनाव सिर पे है इस कारण से इस तरह की झूठी योजनाएं लेके आए लास्ट नवंबर एंड दिसंबर दिल्ली मार्क्ड इट्स वर्स्ट एयर क्वालिटी फॉर रिस्पेक्टिव मंथ्स इन लास्ट फाइव इयर्स आई एम बीइंग जॉइंड एट दिस पॉइंट by advocate Anmol Panwar, who is a spokesperson for Aam Aadmi Party, Neoma Gupta, who is a spokesperson for Delhi BJP, Bhavreen Khandari, who is an environmentalist and member My Right to Breathe, as well as Dr. Anjal Prakash, who is a research director at ISB and a climate expert. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining us. Ms. Bhavreen, let's just start with you first. You have been fighting for the right to breathe clean air for a very long time now. How do you look at what's been announced? So, Sneha, yet uh, once again, I mean, we're actually sounding like broken records because this is uh, again uh, ad hocism, you know, which is uh, not going to help, you know, releasing videos. I, I, actually, the government needs to stop anybody for that matter. Every government has to stop calling this campaigns. It's not a campaign. This is a public health crisis. 
Our children are, you know, losing their lives. Many years of their lives they're going to lose. They are actually have damaged lungs. Every third child in Delhi has damaged lungs. So it's, we have to stop first treating it like a campaign and making these hashtags and work on policy or the government. Let the NGOs do the campaigns. Let the civil society do all that and support you. But you have to behave like a, a government. Now, there is uh, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, when we uh, wake up at this time and say odd and even. Odd and even is a fantastic uh, uh, initiative, but it needs to be implemented throughout the year and years until we uh, we come below an AQI 60. Or uh, at this point, I mean, if you see, if you stand anywhere on the road, you see single driven cars, there is no congestion tax, there's no emission taxes, you're only making building flyovers, expanding roads and uh, cutting trees for that, you're felling five trees an hour, you know, for projects like this. So obviously, if the intent is not true and... Uh, mm. Uh, uh, you, you're bringing in uh, the most, you know, we wasted so many years on smog tower, which was a ridiculous, uh, um, you know, um, uh, uh, solution. And it was being said from, uh, you know, many years that it's not going to work. And now you have something new called cloud seeding. These should be the last options when you've given after decades and centuries that you see you fail. You're not working on the sources of emissions. There is, uh, there is a very sound policy and implementation. You still, this pollution board has vacant posts that's being pointed out for years now. Why is all this not being done? I mean, that is what the government's job is, to look at the policy and ensure enforcement, not campaigns. Right, right. Ms. Bhavreen Kandari, I think you are standing for us and doing our live and talking to us. So I would just say you could just hold, wait for a few minutes, just relax a bit. I'll go to the other panelists and then return to you. I'm not sure how long can you really hold on with your frame like that. But thank you for joining us. I'll just get back to you very shortly. Dr. Anjal Prakash, Dr. Anjal Prakash, very quickly, um, the government this time has said that you can go ahead and most likely around the 1st of November, between 1st to 15th of November is when they are going to be looking at the possibility of artificial rain. It's a matter of 35 days from now and that's when the government is anticipating the worst cocktail, the cocktail of uh, the winters as well as the cocktail of stubble burning. Do you see this as a step in the right direction? Is this something that the national capital will benefit, considering this is going to be cloud seeding in the national capital, but you have stubble burning all over. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much for having me on the show, um, Sneha. And then, um, you know, this is an interesting uh, point. At least, I, I mean, I must loud that uh, at least the uh, minister has spoken a couple of weeks before the actual uh, strike of the air pollution at Delhi faces every year. And uh, this understanding that the, the election year, okay. I think there's some uh, um, knee-jerk solution that they're trying to find out. And that is where the problem also lies. Uh, uh, Delhi state is, has has its own climate uh, action um, report, which was uh, published way back, and no action has been taken in, on those reports. And that's the whole problem, is that these are knee-jerk solutions. Uh, this is not a long-term uh, solution that we seek for a city like Delhi. Uh, that's the main problem. The second part, which is very important for us to uh, think about, about cloud seeding and coming to cloud seeding, it is, um, you know, it has a mix uh, kind of results all over. The science uh, 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 is not yet confirmed on cloud seeding that if you're actually uh, spending money on this one, it will be uh, you know, leading to a certain very perceptible change. It is... Uh, uh, has been experiment. IIT Kanpur okay. has done a lot of work. Uh, Tamil Nadu government has done in the work in the past. Uh, Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology also has uh, some experiment has happened, but uh, we don't have a conclusive evidence. So this is taken as just one of the many um, uh, kind of a steps uh, towards uh, combating problems of Delhi uh, than the only one. It's, it looks very uh, kind of a uh, fancy to talk about, but it, sh it, uh, it is not. It is a knee-jerk solution. That is what I would say. Okay, let me just very quickly go across to the other two panelists at this point. Advocate Anmol Panwar, you've heard the specialists on our panel, you've heard the climate expert, you've had, heard the activist who's been fighting for the right to breathe clean air. Um, and apologies to our viewers, you may see Ms. Bhavreen Kandari's uh, frame shake in between, but I understand she is doing this in some, she's holding her own frame and doing her life. So thank you so much again. But Advocate Anmol Panwar, very quickly, 
nobody seems to be impressed sneha ji uh, today the delhi government has launched its yuddh pradushan ke virudh campaign to combat this escalating pollution levels during the winter season under the theme milkar chale pradushan se lade and over the past decade the delhi government has undertaken significant measures to control the national to transform the national capital into one of the cleanest and greenest cities and that is the reason why the green cover of delhi which was 20% in 2015 has increased to 23% today all the thermal power plants have been shut down we have uh, introduced a very uh, progressive ev policy and in delhi more than 20% of vehicles today are plying on electric vehicle 1700 industries have been transitioned into cleaner png fuel and moreover we have the biggest fleet of electric buses which are running in delhi it has almost doubled with a target of 10000 in 2025 so certainly we have taken measures over the period of time and that is the reason why the number of bad air days have also reduced from 259 in 2016 to 159 in 2023 and okay. today we have also Anmol introduced Pandey, a 21 the point time to say yeah. the measures that you have taken but also let me just do a reality check to what you are saying uh let's look at what the facts are last year delhi had the worst air pollution in last 5 years november and december the two months were the worst in last 5 years the number of children who are having lung issues who are having breathing issues has almost quadrupled in the national capital national capital is one of the worst cities to be living in globally i'm not saying this these are ratings these are facts I, that have been put out respond? internationally do you still stand by what you are saying to advocate anmol certainly i stand by what i'm saying and i i know that rising pollution is a matter of grave concern but we should not consider it from a very narrow viewpoint treating pollution as only a problem Which exclusive is? to delhi is a very myopic view point actually we must acknowledge that it's a widespread concern which is affecting all the north india and it is because of the adjacent uh, uttar pradesh adjacent states in fact the whole north india from where uh, because we don't have boundaries states don't have boundaries see the pollution levels in uttar pradesh in adjoining haryana in uh, the other adjoining states of delhi So it's okay, not let me just, just a go across to Neoma Gupta. Today. Give him the same. Right, Neoma Gupta, very quickly come in. I'll give you the same time as I give um, the panelist advocate Anmol Panwar. So here's the thing: they are saying there's no solution. The court has wrapped the Delhi government several times, has wrapped the Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, and Haryana government as well. We have and seen- said the governments are not doing enough. whether it be the smoke guns that have been not functioning whether it be the odd even that comes in during the emergency periods nothing nothing seems to be reducing the air poor quality of air that we are breathing thanks nia for having me on your show see i'll tell you the aam aadmi party shamelessly testing the patience of the people of delhi by boasting about their project you know like progress in reducing pollution over the years whereas everyone who lives here can tell you things have only gotten worse tell me what was the purpose of gopal rai's pc today he literally repeated verbatim all the stuff he had just said in the last press conference and actually there is where the problem lies because the people are not people of delhi are intelligent and they will mistake action for effective action going down to the 21 winter action plan which has been you know we've been listening to this for the past 10 years uh, with slight modification but every year delhi is changing into a gas but i just want some technical points from the aam aadmi party spokesperson whose attitude was most of boasting instead of listening and engaging with the fact that delhi is dying one of the biggest pollutions or a problem of pollution is uh, stubble burning which comes from adjoining states of punjab which is ruled by them which was proven through satellite images just tell me what are the progressive talks you've had with them to sort this problem out i understand one has to show more work than they're doing advocate i'm more pan but i want to seven. respond to that first just, just let me finish my questions then no let him respond, respond to that advocate anmol the... panwar can i finish no, no, my go ahead. let, let think... advocate one uh, anmol okay. respond yeah sure i'll I'll, i'll i'll share a, i'll share an affidavit with neoma gupta if she wants to which yes, their please. own government has filed please before sh- no, the no, honorable supreme court we share it with the viewers no no please share it with the viewers 
counter which, the NASA images of last year. Can, please tell me can, you have seven hundred crores lying in your please, please, allow please allow me to respond. Please allow me to respond. Dariye mat pehle suniye na baat. Baat suniye. Let me let me complete. See the central is. government, the central government filed an affidavit last year before the Honorable Supreme Court, and it was acknowledged by the Supreme Court that stubble burning is Absolutely. not the sole contributor. It only contributes seven percent to the pollution sir. levels, and it is your it government is which has filed this affidavit. While you make baseless claims saying that fifty percent of it is from Punjab Advocate and Anwar other Panwal, states. Advocate Anmol Panwal, before this okay, point came in, this technique. was a very point you said that about how yeah. there's stubble burning in Uttar Pradesh and other states you, around. You now, government. when you have the BJP spokesperson bring in this whole point about Punjab stubble burning, you are saying that your own government has filed an affidavit saying stubble burning is no. not. the Ma real cause what's your stand we, please man sneha please, you have you question. are you are miss you are misinterpreting it i have not said that my government i have said that the bjp government filed the affidavit and it was the honorable supreme court which has acknowledged that that's exactly what i'm saying so if up is, government is saying it is not the primary cause and you are stating that to defend punjab, punjab. how does this work Yeah, stubble See, burning Delhi, primary, Delhi, not primary, whatever. It is a gas chamber. Delhi. Have you worked with your government to ensure that something can be done? There is going to be cloud rain, uh, uh, cloud seeding in Delhi. That's for Delhi. What's going to be happening to the stubble Del burning that's happening I, in uh, adjoining states, including a state that See, has been run by your party, sir? I, I okay, challenge can I ask the BJP the spokesperson. Yeah. I challenge the BJP spokesperson to just tell me a single state where the green cover has increased. From to more than two percent, sir, sir ma'am. What them. about the other states which you are ruling? You tell me. Okay, you answer one question to me. We we Every have increased the green can... cover by three percent okay. in last eight years. All right. Years. Why you both go and back forth? And remember, the there's a huge case in the court about the ridge, uh, ridge road, and, and the ridge area, and the green cover around it. Bhavin Kandari, you are hearing the Amadmi Party as well as the BJP. What do you really make out of it? So I'm. I, I mean, um, I know you don't want to hear me very well, and uh, neither to each of you. But I'm sure you would want to hear the experts on our panel. Uh, over to you, Bhavin Kandari. You've heard our political uh, panelists speak at this point. What do you make out of it? This this is a typical uh, Sneha. This is typically happening, and it's not happening over the show. It's happening over the year. So that is the reason uh, we are uh, uh, all suffering. They have to understand now what Mr. Gokhale was saying. Is true. One part of aspect of it is true that this needs an air shed approach. It's not about Delhi. It's not about Delhi NCR. It's about you, uh, if you need to solve it, then you need to take it. You know, in a in, in a wholesome way. There's an air shed approach that has to be, uh, you know, brought in, which is uh, clearly missing. That's why the, no matter how many bodies and commissions and uh, etc. get be made, but if uh, the uh, political leaders are not willing to cooperate and not Work together, and this bickering is going to happen. It's never going to work. Uh, we wasted time on smog towers. So, Bhavri, let me ask you one question. Our... Let me ask you one question. You heard Gopal Rai speak today, but if you have to tell the Aam Aadmi Party government, as a person who's been very strongly involved in the right to breathe the uh, uh, clean air, as a person, as an expert who has been on this field fighting for this right, what would you have wanted to hear today? So absolutely, they have to work on the sources of emission throughout the year. This is for every person here, every person who's on the government, every government I'm speaking to. They have to work on sources of emission. They don't have to. They have to stay away from this technology, the visual, uh, you know, things that uh, are the basically it's the vote banks that they are just trying to show visual appeal that wasting so much time and public money is not going to help. It's clearly said. There's lots been written. There have been affidavits given. There have been uh, in the Supreme Court case where the Commission of Air Quality Management came in. Everything is written there. Everything has been said. Has been they, it's been clearly defined by the experts. Uh, throughout the year, you have a clear failure of waste management. Everything now. When there's fire on landfills, we'll talk about the fire. We'll stop now. We are seeing this visually. Another thing which I want to correct. The air pollution is not now. It's only that it falls for these weeks or a uh, couple of months because of the monsoon. We've had uh, over 350, 400 AQI throughout the year. So uh, let's not uh, only because at this time the right. uh, air pollution settles down and it becomes visually 
uh, you know, uh, uh, we see it, it becomes visible. That is the reason that uh, we tend to talk about it. So uh, that's another narrative which needs to be brought in that air pollution is throughout the year. We have to work on, like you said about the ridge, we are cutting okay. trees, we are uh, uh, we are uh, felling five trees an hour. This is, uh, this, uh, you know, this, we've been saying this all the time. You're giving permissions, you are uh, uh, yourself, and then you are, uh, you know, protesting for the other government who's cutting trees. So it's everybody's at fault here. There's nobody's less than the other. And you have to understand that there has to be a focus, absolutely clear okay. focus on now, clean air. And that means no mistakes. We cannot, again, give like three years of small tower to crowd seeding and then say, oh, we failed and we wasted all the public money. That's not going to happen. If you work on the emissions okay. of, uh, sources of emissions, how okay. many citizens are coming on the ground? They're showing you Yamuna, they're showing you uh, drains, they're showing you all the pollution, they're showing you data. Uh, you know, that is that is what needs to be considered. Uh, after all, you know, there is uh, so but, much effort. Okay. I mean, governments have money. Citizens don't. They're spending their own time and effort and money to show them. And they must, uh, uh, you know, take cognizance okay. of all okay. this. Uh, okay. That thing. Thank you. And let me just okay. come in, Sneha. Dr. Anjal Prakash. Uh, yes, yes, please go ahead. I was coming to you, Dr. Yeah. Anjal Prakash. Okay. And, um, yeah. you know, I, I, to what Bhavreen is, ad, uh, has said, I also want to ask you this question. What would you tell to the Aam Aadmi Party government that is saying that, listen, the green cover has increased? What would you tell to the government that, listen, the, uh, uh, the fuel for public conveyance has considerably changed. The source of it all has considerably changed. To the government that's making these arguments, what would you say? No, uh, let me just first correct the uh, information given by uh, the Amadi Party. First of all, the uh, uh, you know the uh, parali burning which happens it contributes to twenty five to thirty percent of the uh, uh, air pollution in Delhi. Uh, this is the study which was done last year by SAP. Uh, the uh, it's a German software firm which has looked into the satellite imagery. So just to correct the point, uh, it's not seven percent, sir. It's thirty five to forty fifty percent, forty percent. Uh, sorry, twenty five to thirty percent, uh, and this is by, uh, and I can send you the details, it's by the German software firm SAP, SAP, uh, and this is uh, all uh, over the media which has been come and reports are there. My question, my, uh, you know, uh, humble request uh, to uh, uh, the ruling party, Amadmi party here, and, uh, you know, and this is irrespective of people, uh, of, of political parties, because these issues are going to remain. This is their uh, last 10 to 15 years, this is going to be much more worse in the future. My suggestion, actually, whatever measures that uh, Amadi Party representative is actually talking about, it has to show result, right? Delhi IIT Delhi is right next to your corner. Please get the scientist of IIT Delhi, give you the report, let them let them assess independently. It's not the, uh, you know, uh, and then tell us what the results could be. And that is what, in the last time we have uh, in, together in the panel, uh, in your own channel, um, uh, uh, Sneha was when the Delhi uh, was reading under water crisis. And I had told them that let's get out a white paper on this. Why not get a white paper? You know, all these problems that Delhi is facing, get a white paper. What have you okay. done? Dr. Anjan Prakash, one question before I quickly go over to a political panelist. I don't have much time. So one question. Artificial rain or cloud seeding, do you think is a viable option, is a solution this, uh, as we head to the political, uh, to the pollution cocktail season, literally the choke season, literally, is it a solution or is it just, you know, artificial band-aid or a quick fix attempt, which most likely is going to fail? Yes, Naya. So, crowd seeding has a very mixed responses. It is not a foolproof solution. It's one of the many solutions only when the situation becomes very worse that you may try that and success, so, you know, this being succeeding also will have a less, lesser chances. So, not, don't, don't put all the weight on cloud seeding. It's one of the many options that you take, but it's a knee-jerk solution. It is not the solution that to bring in uh, permanent solutions for uh, the city of Delhi. That is what I would suggest. And, okay. you know, one more okay. point that I I'm totally to out of time. I'm being told to wrap. But advocate Anmol Panwar, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. And Neoma Gupta, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Please respond. 10 seconds. Neha ji. Yes, uh, advocate Anmol Panwar, we, please. We have unveiled a 21-point winter action plan to combat air pollution. And what Mr. Prakash was saying, Mr. Prakash, these were the observations about stubble burning by the Honorable Supreme Court. And we both cannot question it. And we have uh, formed... No, it was not the observation by the Supreme Court. It These was, are the observations it was I can, affidavits submitted I can, by the governments. 
I, I'll, I'll tweet it and I'll tag Mirror now with it so that you can get correct information and also the uh, BJP panelist who's sitting over here and making baseless allegations. So uh, this time, as per the winter action plan, we'll run an anti-dust campaigns along with deployment of 85 road sweeping and 500 water sprinkling machines and real-time monitoring okay. of all, all the right. key All hot right, spots. time up, but let me just so very quickly say this. Delhi it's an expert on the panel who's non-political, who's a respected panelist, Dr. Anjul Prakash, who made that statement. Nonetheless, Neoma Gupta, very quickly back to you. Okay, since everything seems to be baseless, the DPCC itself has said that the findings of the real-time apportionment uh, study which they had initiated were not correct. I just want to know this time when they made a reference, will they do it in a, will they do it in a different way? The 700 crore cess which has been lying, how do they plan to spend? I'm just asking questions because all okay. these questions are... Okay. And all these nodal agencies you've appointed for the purpose of public uh, participation, vehicular, voluntary, um, you know, restrictions, okay. green wall rooms. Can you give a more detail and entailing plan as to how right. the people are supposed to understand that? So perhaps okay. that... I'm being told, I apologize, I'm being told, I really to have to hard stop this discuss discussion. We are totally out of time. There's so much more to discuss on this, but nonetheless, we are totally out of time. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a long-standing solution, despite we are knocking at that very crucial time already. Thank you so much for joining us.